Hi everyone, it's Clyde and I'm finishing up a big order. This is the last one that I'm making and it's another brown soap. It's an oatmeal soap. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the color brown and how you can work with it and around it and how you can add a little bit of color to it. So I prepared a color tutorial that will talk a little bit more about that and you can actually see the color on the palette. So let's get started with this soap right away. So this is how the unofficial survey went with the colors for the Vibrant Prism. Um, the most popular one with 14 people was this one right here. And remember there's no right or wrong answers, but I do understand why people like this. The yellow really brightens things up there. And it seems like people didn't really miss the red um, because it's kind of present in the reddish purple and the orange. So. Again, the eye doesn't miss the red as much. The next most popular choice was this one right here. And that was what I based my soap on. Seems like people uh, like that. And I'm guessing um, that they didn't miss the yellow so much. And the green seems to satisfy the need for yellow because it is a yellow green. And the red, orange, purple, blue are there also. We had three people that liked this one. And I think it's, um, had I been more careful, um, this might not have happened. But this one is more bold because there's more pigment on the page. But I do like the variety of colors in this one as well. Um, it seems like there's an equal amount of um, warm and cool colors there, as equal as it can be with the odd amount of colors. Um, I like that one. And this one... Number four and number five had the same amount of people that liked both of those. Um, kind of interesting to see what people just kind of, um, what jumped at, out at them most. So that's that was interesting. All right, let's get back to um, a new color tutorial. And this one's on browns and the different kinds of browns. And I won't do a survey like this again, but um, if you want to let me know how you um, like the browns that I show in that one, um, please feel free to let me know. All right, let's go to that one. So here's a tutorial about brown, a um, little bit more detail. Um, brown is associated with a lot of different things like chocolate soaps and coffee soaps um, and oatmeal soaps, I think, because of the sort of beige quality that brown lends itself to. But what I want to show you in this chart is um, one of each of the different colors in the color wheel. This one is my usual preference for foodie types of soaps. And that has a brown, a white, a orange brown, and brown with white, which is kind of tan. And this one is with yellow. All of them have the white and the brown, but the additional color in the bottom left is this brown with an addition of yellow. And none of these are wrong. It's a matter of preference, and it's connected to me with the scent of the soap. Here's one with a reddish brown. You can picture that in the soap. This one is probably one of my least favorite ones, and that's a greenish brown don't usually think about greenish browns but if you have an herbal scent that you didn't want a really bright um, color if you wanted something that's more earthy that might be the choice there brown with purple to me ends up being like a kind of plum and I can live with that it's a beautiful color so there's the brown white and uh, brown down purple which is a plum and here's one with the blue. Again, somehow the greens and blues to me are my least favorite. It just turns in sort of gray color. But again, if you wanted to do a woodsy scent, a spicy scent, pepper, something like that, you might choose that one. But for me, I tend to use this color combination when I do my browns. And another thing that looks nice with the browns is gold. This gold is like um, an accent color usually and it's like a neutral. Gold goes well with just about everything. 
So I am going to do my soap today, my oatmeal soap. It's a commissioned soap with this one right here. Okay, so I just combined all my lye and to my oil. And I'm just going to divide out the colors now. This is a orange mixed with some gold. I'm trying to concentrate on colors that would really be compatible with oatmeal. There's honey in this batter, so it's turned a little brown too, so that'll add some color. This is white with some gold. And this is just some white as an accent color. That will get no fragrance. And then there's going to be basically the batter color right there. So let's see here. What do I want to do? I want to add fragrance to everything but the white. That gets most of it. Okay, let's start blending this. I should show you the fragrance I'm using this time. I bought some oatmeal milk and honey long ago but I just got this one from Rustic Essentials and I like this much better. The other one was kind of perfumey, it smelled a lot like baby powder and this one is rich and I can really detect like an oatmeal quality to that kind of honey and vanilla scent to it as well so I'll be using that one from now on so there's my base color. It's my orange and white. So who knows what's going to happen to this once the soap turns color because this discolors a little bit. But I do want to make sure that all the colors are different. I've got five different colors in this one. This is just my orange and gold. The orange gold plus the browning of the soap or tanning of the soap I think will look like a honey color. You can see the specks of gold in that. And here's my white. And here's my brown that I didn't talk to you about because I almost completely forgot about it. That has a little cocoa powder in it. Busy morning here at Vibrant Soap, I tell ya. A lot of soap making. Okay, so let's get the mold here. I also have some gold mica and some oil to drizzle on the top. Let's start with the base. Stir that up a bit first. It's behaving itself. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. It's like an apricot color now. And I'm just going to do some drop swirls and then a chopstick swirl. Just like I did with the chocolate soap. Just because I think that really suits oatmeal. Get some of this white in there. Just the thin ribbons. Just thin ribbons of this. Some more of this cocoa brown. So five colors in a real sort of simple, subtle difference in the color soap should be interesting. The overall idea is to make it look simple because the colors are not wild or contrasting very much. This is my gold with some white. This orange. Well, this is good to know also is that this 
fragrance doesn't seem to accelerate at all. Look those colors together now. I can see all the colors that I planned in this together for the first time all in one place and I like that. I'm going to retain a white for the top so every other color is going to go in here right now. Our contractor Mikey is back doing some work for us and he's ended up being a great customer. He comes into the house and smells some of these great smells and says, you know what, can I buy some of that? And I don't say no, but he's bought so much soap. Wow, this smells so much better than my other one. I liked the other one until I smelled this white and gold. And finally the rest of the base color. I'm going to lay this on in a flat layer. But before I do that, I want to give this a spoon swirl first. Turn this around. Look at those colors together. Perfect consistency. I am just now getting the scent of a little bit of cinnamon. Letting that out a little bit. I think at least one more holiday soap to make. Actually a couple, but you've seen me make the gingerbread one again, but I'm going to have to make another loaf of that. I'm just spreading this out in a thin layer across the top, thinking of how milk settles on top of oatmeal when you pour it on top. And now that I look at that, since I'm going to put a golden swirl on the top, I think I want to add a little bit of texture. Um, I think just like that. Now for the gold. Gold looks great with any color. Treat gold like a neutral for the most part. And let's see here. I'm going to throw those around a little bit too. Oatmeal never looks so good. Wow, I like how that turned out. How's that? Gotta keep it in the light. 
So this has been the making of oatmeal, I call it sometimes oatmeal honey swirl. Who knows what I'm going to call it this time. But it's got the honey in there and this great new oatmeal scent. And um, let's show you what it looks like cut. Alright, ready to cut this. Let's get the end piece off first. There's four different kinds of brown, I guess, in there. I cut it and I can smell that great oatmeal scent. And this has, of course, colloidal oatmeal in it also. It's going to brown. You can see right on that edge right there. And it's going to look nicer because there'll be more definition wherever that dark area meets the other colors. And I just wanted that almost like an icing on top of that. And there's the gold top. I'm very happy with that. And this one sat for, I think, two full days, so it's cutting really nice. And that was my last cut. This one has a little more of that orange in there. And we'll see you real soon for some holiday soaps. I, all I have to do is finish editing them, and I'll get them loaded on YouTube. So thanks for watching, subscribing, and visiting the website. I really appreciate that, and thanks for all your comments. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, everybody.